Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And actually, I am just back with some polishes today. This is going to be just a little quick swatch video. I did get these at Dollar General. And as you see, they're Maybelline. And they had so many beautiful colors, like this purple pink. It was gorgeous. But I got colors I actually needed more than like kind of wanted. But um, they were $2.50. So two for five, I look at it like five, ten, fifteen dollars for six Maybelline polishes. And it says fast gel, but it's gel like no UV lamp needed. So I'm just gonna swatch these. The colors I got was a top coat. Um I believe, yeah. Let's say there's names on it. So this is just a top coat 100. I got this green because, you know, grass and filling in your stamping images for spring. Thought this would be like a really nice pretty green. And this is called Tropic Talks 240. And it's so funny because for the longest, I wanted a green like this. Could not find it. They're always like super dark or like super light like this it's just I could not get that like green like that and then I thought this was interesting it's kind of like a gray purple I don't know but it's called teal for two 245 which obviously it's not teal so and then you use a lot of pink with Easter coming again I thought these were like good for like Easter colors also so this is just a baby pink, bubblegum pink, and it's called Twisted Tulip, number 155. And you can do some reverse stamping with these, so you can't color your images in. This is um, Turquoise Tees, 235, and just this really pretty baby blue. And then I just got white because... White and black are like, when you do nail art, is a must. So, again, I got these at Dollar General for a dollar, uh, or for two fifty, Which, I don't know how much they normally go for, so I am going to, I'll put it up here in the corner, like at Walgreens or something. But, this is how the white's looking with one coat. So I'll do one coat, and then I will come back and do a second coat. Again, that was the white. Let's go in with this green. Oop. Not very thick. Kind of um, very thin, this one. Kind of thought it would be a little thicker just because it's like gel like it says or gel. It says gel. I actually didn't know if I was going to come home and need a lamp. But you, I've never seen real gel polish at a drugstore like a Walgreens or so this kind of has the same consistency. Not watered down but just much thinner kind of like sometimes like those SC polishes are. So here's the baby blue. It does look like it's drying pretty quick though. I did try the top coat and it dries really fast. And it actually is pretty shiny, so I'm pretty impressed with the top coat. So I don't know, I haven't been really showing you. That's that bluish gray. It's been sitting here yammering on, talking. So here is this pink. Sorry if it's getting a little like fuzzy. But here's how that's looking. You see how it's like thin? But when you put on the second coat, it looks like it's going to be pretty thick. And then I guess we could just put clear on that. But then I'll go over the nails with the clear top coat. But I'll just put it on this one. Just why not? So. 
So which one do we do first? White. So let's go in with it. Sorry, my son was at the door. But I kept painting it because I didn't want it to get like streaky. Like only paint half the nail and then... So, you know what, I'm just going to go over it one more time. So here's like a full three coats, or two coats, very generously, on the second. So what was the second? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. So let's go in with this green. I've said this in other videos, I do prefer a little bit thinner polish just because you could build it up. It's not thick and gloopy and maybe I'll do three coats. I really don't want a polish that you have to do more than three coats on though because then that just becomes, you know, drying time and... But thin polish usually applies nicely to me. So here's the third coat on this blue, I mean the second coat on this blue, and I think it looks pretty good. It's a really pretty blue, I like that. You know what, let me um put my camera down a little more, get a little bit more of a, I don't know. But here, let's put... I, I just love this color. It's like that gray periwinkle blue-purple color. So here's that with two coats. Oh, I didn't do the pink. And then here... I don't know. Thin coats, they just go on so smooth and easy. And you could kind of keep brushing it without it getting like streaky and liney. And so that is how that looks. Two coats. Let's see how shiny we could get this. <laughs> Can't really tell, but. And I think I have a hair. Don't know why I've got hair on these, but the struggles of having pets all over your house. So next, I am going to go in with one more coat. I'm just going to do three. So here is the last coat. Oh. Why do I keep doing that? I keep going back, like hitting it. So, here's a three coats. It is very white. Don't know if you could, let me turn off this light a little bit. Maybe you could see a little better, maybe not. So I'll show it to you with the light on and the light off. So let's turn it back on. And let's do that third coat on the screen. And here is how that looks. I think these might actually make some good gradient polishes very like if you wanted to you might have to go in a few times or have a white base but I think it would blend nicely just because they're thin so let me turn that off so you could kind of see it without the light on and that is how the green looks again three coats put the light back on here and let's do this blue which is blue too would be perfectly fine but since we're doing all of them with three, we'll do three with this one. So that is how that blue looks, that baby blue. Here's with the light out.
definitely a pretty color. Here is this color that I love so much with the three coats. And that is how that looks. Again, with the light off. And then let's do this pink. And if it gets streaky, it kind of, after a second, it kind of just all melts and evens itself out. So here's that, like, bubblegum light pink, baby pink. And here is with the light off. And then we will just do one more. With this top coat not like you can really tell anything but as you see it's nice and glossy but now what I'm gonna do is ooh, 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 no 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 get away from there I am just going to go Overneath the top of these, put that light back on. Gives it a nice glossy top coat. Just a regular old top coat. Does go on very nicely though. Not quite bad for two fifty. And I was wondering if it's going to be like those dollar bill, dollar tree top coats that like never dry. And then you get these like, for years I was buying cheap top coats. When I was in nail school, I always used Sesh Viet and like, I forgot what they're called. Is it Ivy? No, I don't know. It's those really big bottles from Sally's. They would have like pink, blue, clear, I think yellow. And I think the blue was the base. And then there was pink and white for top coat. Ooh. And then I, when I got out of school, I just, for my own hands, I was buying the cheap Dollar Tree top coat. But I would always get these little bumps all over my nails. Nails would be so perfect. I'd go top coat it, it'd dry, and I'd have all these little bumps. Couldn't figure out why it was happening. But here's how that looks top coated all smoothed out really shiny and I'm like so I went and bought some more sesh V and I'm like it dried immediately fast and it's like I forgot how good you know a good top coat is I don't know what I was thinking and I'm like it was the top coat it was never drying it was like giving me bumps actually no Here's this top coated. I was actually buying Essie, um, super dry or something, and I love that polish. It's like 15 bucks for a bottle like this size. I think I have one over there, but in my drawer. But I'm like, yeah, a good top coat is so worth it. It was like no, it was like super setting. That's what it's called. SE Super Set or something. It dried so fast, no waiting, no bumps, no issues. But when I bought this, I'm like, are we gonna have the like it never dries game? But no, it dries pretty fast for being. But these are Maybelline, they're not like some knockoff, like 
you know, it's Dollar General, not Dollar Tree. Here's that top coated. You know, so. But I bought some, I always, uh, I have said it in other videos. I do have this uh, Believe Beauty Polish that I did purchase. And their makeup is really good, too. It's like... Their top coat dries super fast. I was like, it's kind of just like a sesh -vite. I went back to go get more. They were immediately sold out. But I did buy their makeup. I had, I was going to do the whole line, like the primer, the highlighter. No eyeshadow, because I just have too much eyeshadow. But no girl can use that much eyeshadow. But I was going to buy the highlighter, the primer. You know, because sometimes when you mix primers you know the makeup just mixes well when it's the whole line and I'm like it's at Dollar Tree everything was like four dollars and I think the most was the foundation for five but I actually only decided to buy the creamy contour stick because then I seen these polishes and I wasn't trying to look to spend a ton of money in there um I bought the foundation and I bought the concealer and I didn't get the highlighter, which their highlighter looked beautiful. Their blushes look beautiful. Believe Beauty. Their, yeah, their blushes, their highlighters, their eyeshadow, their primers look nice. But they never did get any more nail polishes back in. But, um, yeah, and these are the six, I believe I got. Yeah, these are the six polishes. Five colors, one top coat. Here they are with three normal coats. Um, top coated. So, what do you guys think? You guys think it's worth it? Would you try them out? Now, I don't know if they'll have them at your um, Dollar General. Everybody's, you know, store sometimes sells different things. But if you want to try a good makeup, and if they do have the polishes, Believe Beauty is a great line um i do recommend it and um yeah these polishes by maybelline fast gel seems pretty uh nice for the price for 250 so let me see look at that they're already like They're probably maybe still a little tacky, you know, if you stick your fingernail in there. But for the most part, they're pretty dry. So it is pretty quick drying. But I hope you liked this review. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Helps out my channel. You could hit that notification bell so you know when I make another video. And just stay safe. Enjoy spring coming and have a beautiful, blessed, and safe rest of your day. Bye, guys. Hope to see you guys back real soon.